is Robert Taylor from the New Man Corporation. Yes. And your friend, your friend Alain Vitel has uh, designated you the recipient of one of our free skincare um, consulting seminars. Oh, really? For me, free? Yes. Oh. oh, well, that must be why his skin looks so good. He did mention something about it. Well, come on in. Um, you want to do it today? Uh, if it's all right with you, convenient for you, Mr. Uh, Cole. Sure. Oh, may I take your coat? Yeah, please. The next person. It's a very nice home you have here, Mr. Um, Cole. Thank you. This is my uh, red room. Mm -hmm. I can see it's quite uh, red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <coughs> um, would you like anything to eat or drink or, or something? Um, a cup of coffee would be nice for tea. What one? What? Coffee. Okay. Okay. What do you feel are your beauty attributes? Oh, um, the things you like the most about lady. yourself physically. Not much lately, you know. Well, then let's go on to. I've, what got, you I've got nice feet. Mm, I'm sure you do. Let's go on to what you dislike most about your physical being. Pretty well everything. That's right. Robert, mm -hmm. you know. How many hours sleep a night do you get usually? Four to six hours a night. Four to six, four sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Four to sixteen hours in the night. Four to sixteen, I see. All right. Do you have regular bowel movements? <laughs> well, I don't know if you call them regular, but often enough. Mm -hmm. Often enough. In a day, how many would you say you have? Four to sixteen. Would you ever consent to cosmetic surgery? Do you think I need it? No, I'm saying let's just say you were in a Flaming car wreck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave me any car wreck I'm in, it'd be flaming. <laughs> Let's say one of your cheekbones was crushed, dented, not quite as high. Let's say it was. You were horribly disfigured and you needed a skin graft. <laughs> Buddy. Certainly it would. Which part of the body would you suggest we take the skin from to apply to your face? Scrotal sac, definitely. The new man does have a new skin grafting regimen mm -hmm. where we take. Um, but it all depends very much, like I said, on your previous sexual habits. Mm -hmm. If you're, um, how should I phrase this delicately, because it is a miraculous process. Don't, don't phrase it delicately, just give it to me straight, give me the dirt. If the lining of your rectum is sufficiently loose as to hang... <laughs> I'm not laughing because of what you're saying. If I'm it's loose as to hang below externally. Five to six inches. <laughs> Could we use that dewy, fresh skin that has never seen sunlight, therefore is not cre crazed, <laughs> creased and aged? <laughs> Could we cover your face in uh, the lighting of your uh, your asshole, buddy? Yes, yes, anything. Just give me back what I had before. Oh my, so many. Well, this is just a sampling of some of our probably just more popular be items. Beginning with stuff, wow. It's like Ju Julie Andrews' bag and Mary Poppins, remember? Now, mm -hmm. buddy, they, you've often heard of the T-zone. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, you have sebaceous all glands here, 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 and here. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't I just show you, buddy, if you may, you can find me. All right. You may. Now, what I'm going to do is now? do some testing here. Oh, what? Okay, now, this... Oh. Buddy, it's, a, it's quite all right. This is a hypoallergenic skin test pencil oh. that we use on all our opening seminars. Oh. And it washes right off with a bit of Evian water. Oh. That we will sell you for only two ninety five dollars introductory offer. Oh, certainly. Okay. Now, across your brow here, oh. buddy. Right there. Mm -hmm. See those deep, deep etched lines? In fact, here. Mm -hmm. I just draw oh, a few of the books. More for. of them. More those them. deeply etched lines there. Draw more. Buddy, mm -hmm. please listen. This is important. This is scientific. Mm -hmm. Those are produced by an overabundance, abundant use of, of facial expression. Which, I, you, that's probably part of your charm and all that, buddy. We have a deep penetrating oil which is used in conjunction with certain facial exercises 
and get rid of this. Do you have anything to stop me from moving my face? <laughs> no, buddy. You are at an age now where you're starting to get bags under here. Mm -hmm. Not to worry. We have a product that can just, we call it our facelift image jar. The other thing we've noticed here is you have a horrific premature aging of the eyes here. Mm -hmm. You're going to get those crow's feet, and what will, what will happen mm -hmm. eventually is that this part here, mm -hmm. your cheekbones mm -hmm. will drop, probably to about there. Mm -hmm. Now what we found too is the mouth brackets. You've, you, you've got them quite, started quite high. Mm -hmm. They also start here. Oh, it tickles. It makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, what eventually will happen is you'll get all those little tiny lines on the top of your lip there. I don't smoke. They call it smoker's face, but you can also get it from just oh, blowing past those snallies. <laughs> Sorry. Go <coughs> mm -hmm. on, buddy. Now here, the other thing too is, ooh, look, look. <laughs> there's so much grease on your nose. <laughs> my pencil just <laughs> slips off, but now there is something we could do for that because right there, you have got a real big. Mm -hmm. If I was to squeeze that, mm -hmm. gallons of pustuous oil would probably come spewing out. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> exactly. So, so what did he say? Well, he, he seems to think that I, I, I should have a, new, a whole new beauty regimen and that um, possibly in the future that I, would, I should have a, a, an operation. But I don't think that I'm going to need that right now, you know? No, they say it's, well, one in ten needs mm. it. You're probably, you know. Well, he said that, well, first of all, he's going to put me on a strict diet. They always put me on that damn diet. Leafy things. Leaves and leaves and grains for days. Oh, you'll, I know. You'll, you'll have the wonderful bowel moves. Did he ask you about bowel moves? Well, he took um, a scraping of one. <gasps> a scraping? But you know what's funny? I gave him rebels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, sly yeah. bugger, you. <gasps> I know. But you're... I didn't think it would matter, because we eat the same things, basically, so it should of be course, similar. Of course not. And then I'm going to clean myself all out with a strong um, three or four cup coffee enema, like Marilyn McCoo uses. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to, he recommends the operation. The knife! Oh, yeah. not the knife! He recommends putting it in. But I, Al, I don't know. I don't, really, I don't really mind, you know. He says that um, they, uh, they, they uh, somehow, I don't know what they do, but they, they allow the skin of the rectum to drop four or five inches from the body. And then that loose, um, pouchy, smooth skin is laying over the face. And it squeezes like that, you know, tightens but, up. But what would you do, buddy, if they take your rectum out? What would you do then? Mm. Buddy, have you ever thought about that? Yeah, no, I never gave that much thought, Alan. I'll, I'll do anything. But it just what, means we'll be friends Alan, uh, whatever he recommends is fine with me. He's just a smooth talker. He just, you just like him because of his blonde nose. That may be so. And I sent him over here. I did it. I sent him over here to, to make you look more beautiful. Look what happens. You don't care whether he rips your asshole right out of you. you you're, you're famous asshole, buddy. Buddy, that, that's, all, that's all that really mattered to you in the old days. And now look at you. You're, you're just going for the blonde looks. Alan. Oh, thanks. I can do that. Coffee.